We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor. By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate. To save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd. From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared. Unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. 
and suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth, because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He's my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir. The branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Man your oars! Let the sail out! The daughters of I here bless our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. And we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, 
My visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plans onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. White rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris on a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would! Of snow. Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, the sting of ice and skin. Revel in this ape. Lord, we walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods! They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company! Frozen bones and ice pellet for ice! You need not fear the cold, Eivor! Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch! Must be near! 
the shape of these rocks! Yes! We are close! For the sake of frozen fingers, I hope so! Lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. I do not say where this leads. Ah, you will see soon enough. I'm too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate. The ice looks fragile. Can you clear it? My heart races. This is it. Gone. There you are. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? The space above. The Sarkis stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nogvat uns membro trurvondi gvorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, Unsum hukas reis derae, hukas saumsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories. Of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. finally made. That much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. In this cavern, so deep and 
There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. The sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Smaller? Volker's mother? How did she come to be here? I'm over here, Eivor! is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? Sigurd, take great care. We should not tinker with the tools of the gods. You speak for yourself, Eivor, for I am no mortal. I see that now. I know it. Take your place at the center there, and you will see.
What is this place? Keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vigor as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain. At long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle are close! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. This is incredible! Enough with those short flies! You and I must fight! The battle we never had! And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing! Spill the eternal blood of Valhalla! At last, I share the din of infinite battle with a true troller! Brother! Worry not, Eivor. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. <laughs> 